Bayo on that last play. That was a confident decision by Maxi. who missed a deep three, and then Lowry. Grabbing his left hamstring right there as he's running back down the court. Something to keep an eye on as this game proceeds. It was that left hamstring that caused him to miss those four straight games. Harris finds his spot and sticks it. And he is so good. Game. Only nine points in game three, but unguardable when he gets it going there in the mid-range. For Lowry, beautiful dime, finds Adebayo. Trying to grit his way through. Opening minutes of the second quarter, that is Shake Milton. Guys had struggled a bit, scoreless in game three, finding his rhythm after that time off, but looking better here. Did mention that Markeith Morris could be into the mix for the first time in the series. But at least for the moment, Adebayo stays on the floor. Milton walking a tightrope in the baseline, one to shoot, Harden the bounce, Ray the finish! Exquisite fence, but as I said, Butler so for the free throw line as he has picked up where he's left off. They're trying to find the trailing out of Bayo. And now they will reset to Struess. Just more than two and a half gone by in the second. Out of Bayo, the spin. Working against Harris, making it look easy. And that was a big play right there. Fun over numbers as Bam out of Bayo has already exceeded his scoring total from game three. He's got 10. You can see how this Philly team a lot different with Embiid on the bench. Harris! Too easy. Half dozen for Harris. Hero finds his spot. Knocks down to three. And when he came off those screens and dribble handoffs and game. Lowry trying to go nearly three quarter lengths of the floor. Now they reset. Butler in the corner. Calling for the screen, gets it from Struess. Butler in the paint, the fade. What a shot by Butler. And so good, so paid. Just able to get to his spots and get the shot that he wants. See the shooting numbers in the quarter. Good start for Jimmy Butler. Seven points in his first 13 plus minutes. Nine to two, Heat run. Contact, no whistle. Harden filling it up from deep. Harden, who has struggled mightily from the three-point line in the series, able to knock one in. That's Bam Adebayo showing that upper body strike. Shooter Max Struess has become. Struggled the other night, just three of 11 from the field. Green from the corner. And it's like night and day. Danny Green, a little too long on that three-point attempt. Green, transition three, splash! And it's with three different organizations and trying to make that a fourth with this Philadelphia ball club. Year 13 for Green. And the 34-year-old sharpshooter is starting to cook. Grant, he could not buy a basket. He had so many open looks through the first two games in Miami. And that was a big part of the story. And one of the reasons why Doc Rivers did not get too down on where his team stood. They felt like their shot profile was good. But guys like Green, Niang really struggled with shots that they usually hit. And boy, have those threes started to fall here in Philly. It was interesting. He made seven threes in game three. The, the Heat as a team made seven threes for that game. Right now he has three three-pointers. The Heat have made three three-pointers. Tyler Hero slicing through the defense. Well, he's certainly become a more all well-rounded scorer as Harden draws contact. How about this move? to the rack by Hero. And this is what makes him dangerous. We think of him as a great shooter, which he is, but his ability off the dribble to attack, very athletic, adept at finishing at the rim with either hand, and great confidence as a young man. The sixth man of the year, Tyler Hero. So here's James Harden, who's three points so far. As he builds. On the Sixers lead, a little look at the upcoming playoff schedule. TNT doubleheader tomorrow, couple of game fours, Celtics Bucks in Milwaukee, and then the Grizzlies Warriors.
now in San Francisco. You can visit NBA.com or visit the NBA app to get all the details. Big headline in that Memphis Golden State series, that knee injury of John Morant. You hope it's not serious. He can be back. So talented, so explosive, and so important for his team. There's Ola Depot trying to find a seam inside. Traveling violation. You give credit, Philadelphia defending multiple actions, staying disciplined, and Danny Green not just having a fantastic offensive performance, but playing pretty good defense as well. Granite's been a better heat offense here in the quarter. 7 of 10 shooting. But a mistake there. And what a pass! Harden! Breathtaking! The court vision of James Harden. Just incredible. Oladipo from deep. Harden wants to push. Here he comes into the paint. Contact! And he puts it down again! Eric Spolster wants a timeout. 